So one of the best things about toast is that you can top it with almost anything, thank goodness. And even, here's a controversial one, fruit. There's a saying that goes, wisdom is knowing that tomato is a fruit. And to prove this, we're going to roast them to release their fruitiness and serving them with a classic whipped sauce as well, which is going to be gorgeous. And talking about fruity, hi, Chef Michaela. <gasps> hi. Hey. Well, what are you doing there? You look you're hard at work burning toast. No, I was trying to get um, grill lines on it before we got on. Yes, and what if you got but, to um, show the camera? No, here. it Let's didn't show. work well. I'll show you this. This is Chef Michaela. There wasn't there enough heat there, see? and I didn't want to turn it up anyway. Okay, that's it. So those are grill marks. Is that what you're looking mm, for? I was trying to get um, harder grill marks. Okay, this is great. This is. I actually like this. The burnt. The bitterness will balance out the fruitiness 100%. of the tomato. Now let's get started. I see you've got some of those cherry tomatoes. Yes. Or rosa, wish tomato. Oh, baby roses. Baby rosa. Mm. Okay. So you got that, and then you just some drizzle, lemon some juice. Lemon. And I'm going to chuck in all the garlic because I love garlic. I love garlic too. Yeah. I think garlic yeah. and tomato, they live oh, together. They need to. On a farm somewhere happily where they just love each other. And then <gasps> they have pizza and obviously this toast, babies. Nice. And I'm going to use all the harissa paste because I also love harissa. I <laughs> love harissa too. I think harissa Salt is something pepper. that is... It's got this depth to it and richness. Yes. And then this tang and then a little spice. There's just... So everything. Much to it. And you could do it with anything. You could literally smear it on some lamb. Oh, and grill it. Yes. Especially like if you have bread that's this dark as well, the rest will go very well in uh, here. Mm. Mm. That's it. Anyway. So you could do this in the oven if you'd like. Yeah. Um, for about 15 to 20 minutes, but like no one has time for that. So. And this is the part where look, if your wrist is too spicy, the entire house starts coughing. <laughs> Which is like the best part of it, isn't it? If you don't have a good extractor fan, they're all gone. But we don't have one in here, so... We're, we're going to cool it down, though. Aren't we going to do cool it down with some mayo? I think it's going to be cool because the Clover Classic mayonnaise range comes in three different levels of tanginess. You've got mild, you've got medium, you've got strong. And to suit your taste preference, it is yours. It's versatile to use and enhance the flavours, bringing you tasty, mouth-watering food like we did with that mild tanginess in the sauce that we're about to jump into as well. Now... Yes. So, you have some cream cheese in front of you, or you could use labna. Um, labna. Labna. Oh, yes. Labna, labna, labna. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then add some of our um, classic mayonnaise to it. How much are we going to go for? I would say two tablespoons. Two tablespoons worth Add a bit me. of tang. Okay, two tablespoons coming in. Beautiful. And while that's happening, I'm busy grilling away over here. We and used a griddle pan this time because it adds a little bit of char, which you like. Oh, are you talking about this type of char, Chef? I'm just asking. I didn't make the toast, okay. I'm just asking if you want this. Just, if this is the char you're after. Yes. I'm just letting you know. That's great. <laughs> nice and dark. Can I mix this for you? Yes, Can I do 100%. this? 100%. Okay. Okay, okay, use your fast whisk arm that you okay. are good at. Oh, <laughs> oh well, apparently not. Are you doing fast whisk? <laughs> okay, I'm doing this. Okay, whisking. Okay. Whisking. Dice, dice. Careless whisker. My favourite song. Have you heard it? No. I'm never gonna whisk again. Guilty feet of God. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. Sounds like a terrible. Done. Yeah. It's beautiful. Nice. Now. Okay, so if you can. Is it all mixed together? Because that looks a bit lumpy to me, Carl. You know what? You didn't give me a, a, a whisk. You gave nah. me a spoon. You, you smear it a lot. Oh, so you smear. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's, it's, it's kind of like when a bread hits a griddle that's too hot. Mm. Then you get this. It's kind of like like the same thing that's happening yes. here. What you gave me is what you also gave me here. So it's all balanced now, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to get it all together and as smooth as possible. That looks possible. exactly the same as when I gave it to you. Like exactly the same. I'm just saying, it's the same thing anyway. Not the right. same. Right, yeah. <laughs> Those Okay, those really smell good. Those I know. Great. And then I see you've got some... Are you a basil person or a basil person? Basil. Basil, thank you. Who I had to check. Basil? I had to check with Philo and Philo the earlier. That's why I wanted to do tomato the same thing. Tomato or tomato? Tomato. <laughs> potato or potato? Uh, banana or banana? Yeah. Uh, well, Gwen <laughs> Stefani taught us that it's B A N A N A N. Yes. Don't forget that. So, what am I going to do with this beautiful mixture that you've just literally Kay. done the same thing to that I did? You take a dollop. Yes. Wait. No. Not. That's not my favorite. <laughs> My favourite one... 
<laughs> it's the bun one. Okay. I want to put it on the. Put your I want to put on the bun one. one. There we go. go. By the way, this is what your bread should look like. If it's toasting and it's not the stand, you're doing it wrong. Just remember that. Chef Michaela said so. Yes. I wonder if Zola Nene will put this recipe into a simple, simply seven colors book. Probably How to not. Make this toast. No, I'm kidding. She will. It's delicious. <laughs> Okay, great. I've got this. Okay. Spread over. Do, do your thing. I'm going to do some more here. Then I'm going to put it on this plate so I don't um, drop it on my hand. Okay. Ooh, ooh, put that one on here too. Uh, you know, this yeah. is. I'm just. I'm going to. Okay, yeah, let's um, get two for our plating. Yes. And you want to put some of great the stuff. tomato. And I just want to garnish it though with some torn basil. Basil. <laughs> Basil. I'm going to do some torn basil for you. And then we're going to get all of these ingredients up on expressoshow.com. Oh. Please go check them out and try it. And make sure that if you are going to do toast, you need to get it dark enough to get to Chef Michaela's perfect, perfect uh, sort of consistency. Make sure that's right. Oh. So burn your toast, make the recipe, and show us pictures on 63 408 It's gorgeous. You should eat it now. I'm going to. Where's my burnt piece? Here it comes. I don't know. There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover.